Strass Bay Railway started in approximately 19, 1965 when the line was closed by Dr. Beeching. Originally it ran from Aviemore through Boat of Garten, Broomhill, Granton on Spey to Forres where it joined the Inverness Aberdeen line. Um, after about four, four or five years the Strasbourg Rail Railway Association bought the line uh, which then only ran as far as from Aviemore to Boat of Garten. Uh, we started off with about 20 volunteers. We now have a membership of 800, but actual working members is very small in proportion to the number of members that we've got. We only have approximately 20 or 30 dedicated working members who come down regularly to work the services. We have a small nucleus of paid staff who are on the administrative and the engineering side and the rest of the work is done, like myself, by volunteers who give of our time um, as and when we can. For myself, I'm retired, so I'm able to, to come down here most days. Welcome to the Strass Bay Railway, Scotland's steam railway in the Highlands. We run 10 miles between Aviemore, Boat of Garden and Broom Hill. We get visitors coming from all over the world to come and visit our railway. And as you can see, we're very, very busy here today, and we've got lots and lots of happy travellers with us. Everybody agree with that? <laughs> We have quite a number of locomotives, but unfortunately at the moment most of them are under repair. But uh, we have steam on today, and uh, we've had hundreds of passengers on the service this morning. This weekend we've got a special service with, uh, for children. We have teddy bears hidden all over the line, so children along with their parents can have lots of fun on the line. The reason that we're lo located here, of course, is that when the railways closed under the beaching cuts in 1968, 67, 68, um, this piece of line would have been lifted. And it was too, um, too much, what could I say, of concern to many railway enthusiasts that the whole railway line was going to be lifted. So we managed at that time, my four uh, predecessors on this railway, to save the length of line running from Aviemore to Boat of Garten. But now we've managed to extend it within the last 10 years to Broom Hill, which is halfway between Boat of Garten and Grantown and Spey. And in the next five years, we hope to go the other three miles to get the railway right into Grantown and Spey. And when we do, we will have one of the best heritage railways uh, in, in the United Kingdom, uh, because we'll have about 15 miles of track. As you can imagine, um, it's very costly to run a railway, both in terms of machinery and manpower. And quite simply, it would not be possible to run the Strasbury Railway unless most of our volunteers uh, were just that, volunteers. If we had to pay them, we couldn't do this. It's an expensive business, it's heavy engineering, it's heavy on fuel, coal and oil, and um, we need to have uh, lots of volunteering to make it work. 60, 70, maybe 80 volunteers doing jobs in the stations, in the ticket offices, in the signal boxes, on track laying uh, and in engineering. Everything to do with railway. Well, I'm a volunteer uh, myself and I used to work in local government. I used to be in charge of uh, waste management and Highland Council. So I was a, lo a public employee uh, about... Um, let me see, six years ago now, uh, maybe more than that, six years ago, I retired and I always was a railway enthusiast and I thought one good thing to do and to keep fit was to join the railway and uh, get on the footplate, on the steam engine and shovel coal. And that's what I'm doing now, that's what I was doing this morning, that's why I look like this, <laughs> because I'm shoveling coal on the railway and I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, I was born in London in 1920. My father was from Taunton in Somerset. I went to school. Um, G 
just before the war I joined the RAF Volunteer Reserve and I went through the war with the RAF. It's much better than wet trousers. Oh.